Welcome everybody, we're going to be enjoying some home movies. Let's start with Alien. Oh, just kidding, it's a video game. I'm going to be playing Alien Isolation by Sega. And we're not going to be playing the main game. I've already done that, sorry. I'm going to try some of the DLC, starting with the first one. Uh, Crew Expendable, I believe it's called. I believe it reprises uh, people from the actual Alien movie. As in, you know, the actual actors do their roles. Which is pretty cool. Let's see. First, let's check out the options. No aim assist. This head tracking stuff is so dopey. You could use the camera so that you could look left and <clears throat> it will see you looking left and right around corners and this makes it so that if you actually get scared in real life the alien might hear you Ooh, yeah let's not do that so I need to look at this just so I could remember aim fire just like any other shooter peak that's a good one to remember race tracker do not hold the triangle button by mistake I don't want to waste batteries okay Pretty simple. Yeah, okay, I can remember that. The only odd one is holding triangle to reload the uh, flashlight, so. Let's see. We are not going to adjust gamma here because the default should be good. On your, You should adjust your screen to this. I shouldn't adjust the game to my screen, if that makes any sense. Hopefully that looks good to you. Film grain, I forgot the game does that. That's the default. Just makes it look old, old schooly, sort of. Audio, subtitles, yes. Yeah. Speaker, oh, no, that would be on the controller. Dynamic range, full. Ooh, louder. <laughs> We're doing full dynamic range. That means uh, if you're not wearing headphones, it might be a little bit quiet sometimes. This means they'll have very quiet sounds. And very loud sounds, so hopefully that will work out for you. I like to wear headphones, so I enjoy the full range of auditory goodness. Let's play the game. Alien Isolation, and there's the crew expendable downloadable content. Let's give it a go. Oh, uh, how did I play? I really don't remember. Difficulty I chose for Alien Isolation. Is there an easy way to check that without screwing everything up? Dun 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 dun. I am going to pause right here. We had so much fun looking at the menu, I know. And we'll come back. Look, it looks like we want to go with uh, hard. I mean, novice is for babies. Well, challenge recommended and then nightmares in added on mode they put on later you want to be have an alien which is really psycho go nuts and we're not going to do that we want to have a good experience it is interesting that they suggest hard to be the actual starting experience so cool well you could collect id tags to find out about people Okay, that's good to know. I kind of forgot about doing that. Wonder what I'll start with. If we're even going to really go to the station. Because I assume this is going to be taking place with Ripley and every everyone. 